Pagpasyon natin ito. thousand people facing certain death right now, unless we help them. My feelings are not a priority. That may be true, Doctor, but these people's well-being happens to depend on yours. I'm fine. Just give me an update about the situation in here. The human activity monitor shows a 4.30% drop over the course of your surgery. So, that's 87 more people who potentially went missing. We need to hurry. Hmm. Be that as it may, Doctor, we still need to test your implants before we proceed. Fine. Let's just get it over with. Hold the scan button to activate scan mode. Nerve ER will interpret your optical signals and locate useful objects for you. It will use this to display relevant data. Your PI will automatically attempt to connect and hack any hardware you scan. You can perform a number of useful actions in this manner. You can also use scan mode to find solutions to tricky situations. Now that's I see that cool. your Nerve VR 2.0 interface is now online. Your condition is acceptable, which means we can proceed with the mission. Is Neil still near the secondary entrance? Mr. Wilder's last login was half an hour ago. Okay. I'll stop by to see him before we go in. Yes, of course. As you wish. To use one of your colorful expressions, Doctor, shall we get cracking? I will be here <laughs> if you need backup. Yep, let's go. We've kept Neil waiting long enough. Let's get cracking. Genie required acquired eye.
This is Dr. Thomas Liu's research log on the rapid environment decay virus. First entry. It's been 16 hours since the first red system infection has been detected. I've removed Oz and myself to a temporary lab outside here, which I've built inside a disused security workstation. It's air-gapped, and outside here is Faraday cage, so it should be more than enough to shield. Red is... I don't even know where to begin. It's like nothing I've ever seen. The InfoSec department red-teamed more security protocols and firewalls to hell and back. Even if I wanted to write a virus for more, I, I wouldn't know where to begin. Hmm. Now, obviously, no system's ever unbreachable, but... But I can't even begin to guess what attack vector Red used to compromise the most advanced operating system in the world. And in such a short time, no less. This is bugging the crap out of me. Is it an inside job? I hand-picked here's infrastructure team. They're the best in the world. I don't even know if one of them could pull this off. Even given administrator rights. I missed something. I must have. What did he miss, though? How remarkably fast. The nerve VR has clearly enhanced your abilities. This thing feels crazy intuitive, like I have a superpower or something. Whoa. Camouflage, stealth blueprint, unlimited consumables, AI common data sets, security data sets, training. Oh yeah, we want that. What is that? Oh, we have to go through here. that computer, right? What is Doctor, that? where are you going? The SCU we are looking for is inside the monitoring room. That's just beyond the checkpoint door. Yeah, I know that, but we have to get through here. Ooh. What is that? Let's see what this is. Uh, isolation lab. Read that this Dr. Way. Liu's research log, entry two. This is now hour 42 of the red contamination of his systems. I've finally managed to crack Red's encrypted payload, which means I was able to perform some sandbox testing. The results of, well, Red is a magnificent piece of code. I can't match the virus's morphology to anything I've ever seen. Not only is it compatible with more, which is an incredible feat in itself. But it can ah, employ an optimized MetaCloud cool. routine to successfully Crouch. compete with nice. more for network resources. As such, I have to assume it can develop its own learning algorithms, the way Moore does. Red's punching straight through Moore's defenses and consuming its processing power at an exponential rate. And just like a biological virus, its generational mutations allow it to quickly adapt and evolve in the presence of novel countermeasures. I'm letting myself get poetic here. I need to stick to the scientific facts. So, to put it in less dramatic terms, Red's using machine learning to take over Moore's systems and seclude them for its uh, own purpose. Got it. It's not much to go with, but it's given me an idea on how to stop it. I need to do some more research. Ah, uh, I got it now. Okay. The orb Oz is our like personal information system, our link. And the the robots, the machinery? What is that? Doctor, this elevator appears out of order. However, you can simply get close to the edge and jump over. Do not worry about the drop. Your suit will protect you. Okay, cool. We can't hack it. I wish we could hack it. Alright, we gotta jump. 
S and C. Nice. So we have to remember we ooh, we can hack certain things. We're looking for Neil. Stand up. So, Doctor, yes. none of our simulations show how a virus could take over such an advanced facility as here, much less in 48 hours. So how did Red do it? Red's an advanced virus, designed to be compatible with more. That's all we know. How does it work? Who built it? How is it so effective? I don't have the answers to any of those questions yet. But it's endangering the lives of the world's greatest scientists by locking them up in here hmm. and messing with a life support system. So, we're going to have to save them. Nothing else matters. Of course. I will help the best I can. Wow. Okay. So the plot thickens. We make our way around. Flashlight H. Make us jump. SC. Looks, can he go invisible? Let's get, oh, pick up what? What was that? Was it another file? This is Dr. Thomas Liu's research. Dr. Liu's research log, right, we entry heard those. two. We heard those. We picked up something. I don't know what it was. Sure, like to know what it was. It's locked. Nothing on the scan is going to do it. Where's Neil? Why would he leave? I told him it's safer to stay put and wait. I cannot reach him through his PI either. Do you think he is in danger, Doctor? Hmm, hope not. All right, what do we have here? Check out this first. It's all locked. Alright, something was over here. What is this? Use director. Alright, some password. Breakout. Who thought such a brilliant system? Oh, uh, we gotta stay and listen. Who thought such a brilliant system designed by the best minds in the world could break down so easily? Talk about hubris. So the tripwires we put in place for more just never popped. Red just locked all the doors and turned off the AC, and we were never the wiser. And since we built this damn place to be unbreachable, well, 
good luck hacking any of the door locks. Uh, Not to mention we're facing the whole of Moore's computing power and clever algorithms. Good thing, though, is that I have a signal disruptor in my room, and I had the presence of mind to disconnect its jamming module from Moore so I can use it to deactivate the door lock system. Hmm. I got outside my room, and I saw Tom rushing towards me. The smart bastard hacked his way out as well and had come to save me. We both figured a virus of some sort was taking over the system, which means we should move to the R&D center. Okay. Only logical place we could fight back from. This place has cutting-edge processors, and even better, they're all running on a separate network and on an archaic OS. We tried to go get Annabelle and bring her with us, but she's not in her room. And with all the locks hmm. around, it's hard to look for her. So Tom made the call, and we just moved the core crew to R&D. Another thing is, we had to avoid individuals with nerve VR implants. Since those things run more subroutines, it means they could also be infected. What a horrible, horrible thing to think about. Wow. Okay, he mentioned some disruptor in his room. We may have to locate that. Disconnects its jamming module. Okay. We may need to check that out. So is this going to give us any more special abilities? Let's see. Interesting. Mr. Wilder has built a survivor tracking tool. Hmm. Where is it? All right, that's Oz. All right, where's this tool? Did that say 2%? 2%, oh gosh. Who and thought such a brilliant that. system designed by the best minds in the world could break down so easily? Right. Talk about hubris. So the tripwires we put in place for more just never popped. Red just locked all the doors and turned off the AC, and we were never the wiser. And since we built this damn place to be unbreachable, well, good luck hacking any of the door locks. Not to mention we're facing the whole of Moore's computing power and clever algorithms. Good thing, though, is that I have a signal disruptor in my room, and I had the presence of mind to disconnect its jamming module from Moore so okay. I can use it to deactivate the door lock system. That's I got outside my room, and I saw Tom rushing towards me. The smart bastard hacked his way out as well and had come to save me. We both figured a virus of some sort was taking over the system, which means we should move to the R&D center. Only logical place we could fight back from. This place has cutting edge processors and even better, they're all running on a separate network and on an archaic OS. We tried to go get Annabelle and bring her with us, but she's not in her room. And with all the locks around, it's hard to look for her. So Tom made the call and we just moved the core crew to R&D. Okay. Another thing is we had to avoid individuals with nerve VR implants. Since those things run more subroutines, it means they could also be infected. What a horrible, horrible thing to think about. Got it. Got it. All right. And we need to be on the lookout for Annabelle. So that was Neil just talking. We're looking for Neil. And we need to be on the lookout for Annabelle. All right. We're going to use this. Get into the oh, so we have his ID. Now, what did he have? This Oh, abandoned key. Okay, we have the key, and we have the files. All right, so, man, what's the point of even working here anymore? Received the cargo about uh, time. Never thought he happy to see those guys. Hank and Skippy. Uh, hugged them on sight. Uh, kind of feel empty with JD and Smokes. He's watching the security desk. Uh... There's a 20-page NDA and non-disclosure agreement. Uh, they're trying to cut off all contact from the outside world. Uh, when I started out, we got shipments on the dot every week, then every month, then every other month, then once a year. It took 14 months for this shipment to show up. Uh, let's see, it makes me wonder why payroll, they keep me on payroll. Uh, why do he need this job? I need to get in touch with my lawyer or go over the contract again. Why didn't I bring my damn video games? I am even writing this. Okay. I think I'm going crazy. All right. Okay, so we have a key and we have an ID. Uh-oh. Doctor, it appears Mr. Wilder interfaced with his laptop recently. He, let me see. He watched a video. 
Did you do anything else? There is a network log entry after the video, but it appears corrupted. Hmm. Show me the video. Good morning, citizens of the Institute. I am your virtual host. It's a brisk minus 31 degrees Celsius outside today. Atmospheric pressure is equal to 0 0.36 Earth to standard atmosphere. Oxygen concentration is 13.2%. Thanks to our advanced automatic life support system, the Institute remains a pleasant 24 Celsius with standard Earth atmosphere and oxygen levels. Our entree is hmm. error. What's happening? Today, but save room for error and error for dessert. By popular demand, we have more error. To wash it all down. What? Era and era for dessert and era to wash it down? Uh oh. So those orbs, their data are corrupt. Ooh. Ooh. VR live feed half an hour ago. Sister Mr. Parker. Wilder likely went to find the survivor. It is quite away from here. We gotta find Guess we'll have to make it to the genie activation hub without him. Mm. All right, let's go. Let's go. We use that, right? Now can we get in the store? Return to the institution. We made it inside. That is a favorable outcome. You will now need to take the elevator back to the facility. How do we get in there? Why is there more information? Firewall not installed. FWIT and it's showing me stealth. Oh, be careful, okay. Doctor. The whole circuit appears to be out of commission. You will need access to the control room if you are to restore power. All right. To the control room. To the control room. Anything down here we can use? Let's do a quick scan. All right, nothing down there. Doctor, wait. What? 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 That genie is infected with the red virus. No matter what you do, Doctor, stay out of its oh. line of sight. Okay. That's why it has stealth. Did he say stay out of his red light? Oh! He said stay out of his red light, right? It has to be. Oh! How fast can he... How fast can you go? I knew we were having too much fun. Oh, we can sneak behind him? I wish, can we act, deactivate it and make, ooh. It's gonna turn, watch. And make it on our side. All right, I think we go back there. What's back there? Oh, another one is infected! Why does, it, why does it say T? Let me see what happens when I press T. What? What? Recognition support. Genie property of here. Maybe we can hack it. Let me look at this one. Oh, I need to get up there. But how? Let me see. Ooh. T. 
No, I have to hit scan it. Anti. Why is it showing me this though? Oh, the stairs are right there. I can go behind it and up. What was that line? All right, let's see if this is gonna let me do anything. There has to be a way to hack it. Maybe not. All right, dude, be quiet. What's that? Where are the stairs? What's back here? <gasps> Nothing. Where's he? Oh my gosh. What is that? Just a light. Why is that line? We made it. Activate power. But won't they know something's happening? All right, we have to pay more attention to the uh, dialogue. I mean, we have been, but I'm thinking there's a way to hack these things, either to make them more. Uh, I found something we can use. What? Can we make them on our side, or just deactivate them? If you boost the power of this e grabber, you could use it to trigger a localized EMP discharge that would disable genies up close. I figured. I figured. Some nice that. lateral thinking, Oz. I'm impressed. Thank you for being impressed. Override. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. This is pretty cool. Now, how many do I need? Is that going to ever run out? Duck, dude, duck. Duck. Uh-oh. I don't like that sound. It's moving! Didn't it move? I could have swore it moved. 18, 6, and 12, 8. So did we get them all? Can we carry them? It says E-Blaster, 2 of 2. But we gotta get close. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this, let's do this. Can I get it from... Oh, it's gonna see me. Is that close? We're gonna we're gonna find out. T. How no? How do I use it? I think we have to get close to use it. I don't know what the button is, or the key is. <gasps> it did move. It did move. It's not in the same place. Right? Wait a minute. If those are the stairs... Oh, can we open this now? Can we avoid it? Let's see. S-D-A-A. -A. Oh, I gotta press that! S-D-A-A. I'm just looking at it like, what's S-D-A-A? -A? Oh! Oh, the door closed. All right. Now, what is this? Oh, so security updates, 380. Let's get the other one. Battery full. Training data. Oh, is that one of the... Oh, it's a... Okay, so this blaster is going to run out of batteries. It says battery full, so we do have to go back out there. But where did we? Those are the stairs. Where did we come from, though? Did that gate close? 
We didn't. It, okay, it moved. Okay, we came. No, it moved. Right? Wasn't it shining on that on that gate? We came behind it, right down there. I'm sorry, guys. I just I just want to go back the way we came. I don't want to die. But it's blocked. It's blocked now. Yeah, we came through this gate, remember? That thing was right there. Why did it close? Alright, it's gonna just the game is making us do something. Now can we use it? Let's see. What's the button to use it? Genie. What's the button to use it? I didn't know you could scan that way. I thought you could just scan this way. How do we use it? Return to the institution. Maybe we don't use it. Because that's not... Okay, we're about to find out. Which way is it facing? Looks like it's asleep. Oh, it's facing the wall. Now can I use it? Oh! <laughs> you just have to get close. All right, I guess we have to get the other one now. Press Q to overload an AI or hold right mouse button to scan the emergency code on the back of the AI, which you can use to shut it down. Okay, press Q or let's see, let's try Q on this one. When you get close to the AI, okay, let's press Q on this one. Are we close enough? I'm pressing Q. When you get close to the AI, press Q. Closer? Uh, wow, that's danger close. Oh! I didn't want to make that noise, and now I notice our blaster is negative one. Okay. It was two and two. What did that say? I wish we could do something with it. Something said, there was a prompt there. Go up. There's another one. I'd rather do the scan thing. Oh! Oh, it's moving! <gasps> Ooh, what's, oh, a battery. So is that it? Oh, okay. Those were batteries. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're back up to two and two. I don't like it when they move. I don't like it when they move. All right, so stealth. Is it telling me I'm getting loud? Oh! It was coming out. It was coming out. Oh, can I get it? Uh, can I hit it? Go hit it! Oh my gosh, this one is going to get us. Oh, we got a window. Q, Q. No, don't use Q. Use the other one. How did... Do we have to go in there? What did we do last time? Oh. Maybe that's glass. We got to... Okay. All right. Let's just do it. Let's go. Let's man up. As soon as it turns around to walk back there, we're gonna go. We're gonna get it. Q or not, I just want it gone. Don't scan. Don't scan us. 
Okay, as soon as it goes back. Oh, because we have to go through that door. All right. Oh! Do it, do it, do it! Quick overload! Q! Okay. What do we pick up? Oh, the battery. We got another battery. I don't like this method. I want to, uh... Look at the smoke coming off of it. I don't want to be loud. What do we use? Didn't we just scan the code last time? The area is safe. Okay, we can stand up. What is that? Oh! What? What was that? like a score of some sort. Alright, let's get back to this institution. Hack the panel. Uh-oh. Cutscene. You are Dr. Thomas Liu. You are a world-renowned expert in mechanical engineering and AI. Are we changing Oh, are we changing characters? Today is your 40th birthday. Seated in your office, you hear... Your students in the hall coming to wish you well. Uh, you feel a surge of pleasure. You are humbled by their thoughtfulness. Humbled by their thoughtfulness. Someone knocks at the door. Please come in. You call out with a smile. Instead of your students, two imposing men in black suits walk in. Men in black. A serious looking middle aged woman follows them into the room. You feel. A flicker of nervousness, a wave of irritation rises in your throat. I'm irritated now. They're disturbing our birthday celebration. Ooh. Annabelle, what a surprise. You lie. Nice to see you, Tom. Annabelle's smile. Annabelle's smile is all protocol and no warmth. I wasn't aware it's your birthday, but I happen to give you a gift. Her gaze sweeps your office with a measure of disdain. Wow. Want to know what it is? Uh oh, I'm guessing you'll tell me anyway. Annabelle smirks, her voice dropping to a whisper. You're a practical man, she says, her hand fluttering over a stack of awards nestled among, among his advanced electronic equipment. What I'm offering, she pauses with a theatrical flair, is a chance to apply your expertise to, a, to the safeguard of our very species. Whoa! You're reluctantly in... Uh, you are, re you are reluctantly entranced by her words. And that's how you found yourself in here. H-E-R-E. -E. Continue. Accessing security profile. Class 1 security profile found. Welcome back to here, Dr. Thomas Liu. We're back. Are back here. Beautiful freaking game. The heuristic emergency response environment, or here, has gathered over 2,000 of the world's greatest minds to shape its evolution. All of them are working in concert to forge humanity's brightest possible tomorrow. Ooh. The future is here. The future of humanity is distinctly lacking in humans so far. Yeah. An accurate statement, Doctor. Nevertheless, you should be able to access the genie activation hub from here. I'm bound to bump into more rogue genies along the way too. Yeah. By the time I upgraded my arsenal, can you patch me through to R&D? Of course. I found a working terminal in a nearby dispatch center. I recommend searching for survivors along the way. Additionally, I have found an old security workstation right next to the dispatch center. Here is counting on you, Doctor. Wow, so we made it back. We are here. Pretty cool so far. I'm liking the game, liking the graphics, liking the story. Very interesting story. Uh, but I am going to end it here. I know, I know. Just as things was, were, were getting interesting. Um... Yeah, guys, I don't want to make this uh, episode too long, so uh, 
yeah, be sure to check out the next episode, which should be coming up uh, very shortly because I'm, I'm really liking this game so far. So, yeah, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, hope everyone's having a great day. And I hope everyone has an amazing weekend. And I will see you soon.